Hi there, this is Richard Walker from Lucidate. Welcome to today's video, where we will be discussing the exciting world of large language models. We'll explore their capabilities, their limitations, and the potential impact on various industries. Let's dive in. Large language models, or LLMs, have made incredible advancements in recent years, with GPT-4 being the latest and most impressive example at the time of video production. These models use deep learning techniques to process and understand vast amounts of text, generating human-like responses to prompts. LLMs such as GPT-4 are built using neural networks with billions of connections between neurons. They rely on a specific architecture called the transformer, which is designed to process and generate data in sequences like text. This architecture allows LLMs to handle context and relationships between different parts of the input text, contributing to the generation of both coherent and contextually relevant responses. During the training process, LLMs are fed vast amounts of textual data, learning patterns, structures, and relationships within the text. This enables the models to generate responses that mimic human-like language. They improve over time by continuously comparing their generated output to the input data they receive, refining their understanding of language and the relationships between specific words and phrases. The advancements in LLMs like GPT-4 have led to numerous applications across various industries, such as content generation and customer support in finance, healthcare, education, legal, and entertainment. However, these models also come with limitations, including factual accuracy concerns, resource intensive requirements, and potential biases in the training data. As LLMs continue to evolve, we can expect further improvements in their capabilities, leading to even more transformative AI applications in the future. The development of LLMs is a testament to the potential of artificial intelligence to revolutionize the way we interact with and utilize technology. Despite their impressive capabilities, LLMs like GPT-4 face significant challenges in scaling up further. The costs of training these models are immense, with GPT-3's training estimated at $4.6 million and GPT-4's likely in the realm of $100 million. This is due to increasing demands for computing power, electricity, and skilled labor. As the complexity of these models grows, so does the need for specialized hardware and greater computational resources. This can result in high energy consumption, which not only drives up costs, but also raises concerns about environmental impact and sustainability. Moreover, training LLMs requires vast amounts of high quality, diverse data. Gathering, curating, and maintaining such data sets is labor intensive and expensive. Additionally, it may sometimes be challenging to ensure that the data is unbiased and representative of the real world, which is crucial for LLMs to generate fair and accurate responses. The demand for skilled labor is another factor contributing to the scaling challenges of LLMs. Experts with knowledge in artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning are required to develop train and fine-tune these models. As the field expands, there's an increasing need for well-trained professionals, which can drive up costs due to competition for talent. So keep watching those Lucidate videos, folks. Despite these challenges, ongoing research and development is focused on addressing the issues of scaling and resource constraints. Innovations in hardware, software, and training techniques have the potential to reduce costs and improve the efficiency of LLMs. As the AI landscape continues to evolve, we can expect to see more cost-effective and sustainable approaches to developing and scaling up large language models like GPT-4. Transformers, like all neural network models, work with numerical data, scalars, vectors, matrices, and tensors. Before processing any text, 
the words in the text sequence must be converted into a numerical representation. This conversion is typically done using a couple of techniques called tokenization and embedding. Firstly, tokenization. The text is broken down into smaller units called tokens. These tokens can represent words, subwords, even individual characters. The tokenization process assigns each unique token a specific integer called a token ID. Embedding. The token IDs are then mapped into a vector space using a process called embedding. This step converts the token IDs into vectors, which can be understood and manipulated by the neural network. Each vector represents a word or token in a high dimensional space, capturing the semantic and syntactic information about the word. This means that words that are related in meaning are close together in this vector space. Once the text is converted into numerical vectors, the large language model can learn from its input data by comparing its predictions with actual target outputs. Here's how that works. During training, the model takes a sequence of text from its training data and masks out some of the words. It then has to predict the masked out words. At first, it will get them wildly wrong. However, it can now quantify the error using the embedding vectors and a loss function that measures the difference between the predicted and the actual target outputs. The model's weights are adjusted using a technique called backpropagation and an optimization algorithm to minimize the loss. This process is repeated over and over and over again, over multiple iterations called epochs and large volumes, vast volumes of training data. As the training progresses, the model becomes better and better at predicting the masked words or tokens, ultimately enabling it to generate coherent and contextually relevant text. A key component of LLMs like GPT-4 is their so-called attention heads. These components allow the models to learn and use associations between words and concepts in text, enabling them to process massive amounts of data efficiently. Consider these two sentences. One, the AI executed the swap because it had been trained to do so. And two, the AI executed the swap because it was an effective hedge. In the first sentence, the AI executed the swap because it had been trained to do so, the attention head recognizes that the pronoun it refers to the AI, as the training of the AI is the reason it executed the swap. This understanding allows the model to generate text that maintains the coherence of the sentence. In the second sentence, the AI executed the swap because it was an effective hedge. The attention head associates the pronoun it with the subject swap, since the effectiveness of the hedge is the focus of the sentence. This correct association helps the model understand the overall meaning of language and generate appropriate responses or continuations. These attention mechanisms allow the model to weigh the importance of different words or tokens in the input sequence when generating an output. Each attention layer computes a score for every pair of tokens in the input sequence, which represents how relevant one token is to another. These scores are then used to compute a weighted sum of the input tokens, which serves as the input for the next layer in the network. This process is repeated multiple times, allowing the model to capture complex relationships between words and concepts in a text. The attention mechanism, combined with the transformer architecture, allows LLMs like GPT-4 to efficiently process and generate text in a way that is more flexible and powerful than previous approaches. This has led to significant improvements in a wide range of natural language processing tasks, such as machine translation, text summarization, and sentiment analysis, and has paved the way for the development of even more advanced AI language models in the future. Despite the challenges faced by models like GPT-4, open source LLMs continue to progress with some achieving performances similar to GPT-4. This democratization of LLM technology can lead to innovative applications in fields like medicine, law, and beyond. 
Bloomberg GPT has shown what's possible in the financial services industry, building a transformer AI large language model using 40 years worth of carefully curated financial information. Expect more industry specific expert AI models to emerge from leading firms in their specific sector. As open source LLM technology continues to progress, the potential applications across various industries will only grow. This democratization of AI has the power to transform industries and improve lives, making it an exciting time for advancements in artificial intelligence and natural language processing. In conclusion, the advancements in AI language models like GPT-4 are remarkable, but we must also be mindful of the challenges they face in scaling, data availability and legal issues. As we continue to explore the potential of AI in capital markets, it's important to stay informed and engage in thoughtful discussions about development of these models. I encourage you to leave a comment below with your thoughts and questions. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more of Lucidate's insights into the world of artificial intelligence.